Alright, so we're doing another uh, garden edition. This is a follow-up uh, kind of to like last week. Um, but what I have here is plants for the vegetable garden as well as uh, some plants for um, some of the pot potted pots and that kind of thing. So I have uh, all sorts of different vegetables here from um, herbs, from squash to eggplant. Uh, celery, all, a lot of different varieties of tomatoes and peppers, and as well as some cucumbers and that kind of thing. Um, but I also do seeds. I don't just do all plants in the garden. And so, um, just kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of what I have here. But I have some lemongrass, some chamomile, um, <clears throat> cilantro, dill, rosemary, uh, eucalyptus, uh, lavenders, and then these little um, creeping Jenny euros. These are great for the potted plants, and I'll kind of go over that with you. And then I have asparagus and uh, all the different squash and tom tomatoes here, some potato ivy. Uh, that sweet potato ivy that will actually go in uh, potted planters. More of that here. And then I have begonias. I absolutely love begonias. A hibiscus. And, and I got some delilahs. And so basically, and you, then you see these timbers here. This is for the driveway as I'm going to continue working on the whole big driveway uh, flower bed. So I got a lot of work here. Have them up on some uh, seahorses right now. Um, and I'm getting ready to stain them. And then while they're drying, I'm actually gonna go work in that planter. I'm gonna let the sun kind of go down a little bit before I go into the big vegetable garden. But I'll keep you all uh, up to date and in tune. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this off here and prep, start staining these. Uh, timbers for the flower planter. Alright, so I'm getting ready to start staining the uh, wood timber. These have been treated. I got these um, today at the local um, gardening store and so I will be staining them with uh, some Minowax uh, Gunstock 231. It's one of my favorite stains. It's one of the ones I use the most for outdoor projects. And so these are going to be stained. I'm doing the bottoms first so that way they could be drying and then I'll tip it over and do the top part. And um, I'll, by that time, uh, maybe I'll have a spot ready for to lay this down in that part of the garden. That is uh, the driveway, big huge garden where I started my mom's um, memorial garden. So I use a real wide brush. This is the three inch brush. And I'm not saying that I'm a pro at it, but I do do a lot of staining and stuff. And so start with this one. It's gonna look really pretty, but you can see how the three inch really is gonna help get the job going and get it done pretty quickly. And even though it's treated, I always think it's really good to stain and kind of seal it up a little bit more, give a little bit more protection. But you also got to plan on every so many years or so, you know, just refreshing everything to keep it in really good shape. stained up and I'll be back here okay so as you can see I got them all stained up this didn't take that long and these are the timbers I mean you don't they're treated so you wouldn't have to stain them if you didn't want to I just feel like it's better to stain them and seal them and plus it just looks more like a good finished product and it'll be really pretty uh, natural uh, against the landscape and that kind of thing a little bit more color and so now I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, some of the weed bear in that section of the garden for now. And I'll be back in a few. 
Okay, so this is the next section of the garden that I'm going to be doing today. It's kind of hard to see, but there's the lilies, gladiolias, some hostas, balloon flowers, creeping phlox, butterfly bush, larope. Uh, I got sedum in here. So this is that spot. Here is the section of the garden that I'm working on today. Gladiolias and lilies. This is kind of where I stopped last week. And I have Mom's Memorial Garden. Today the uh, purple irises are actually bloomed out and gorgeous. We've had some really heavy flooding rain the last few days. There's a picture of the garden. There you go. Another view of it. Everything's doing good. Did pretty well even with some pretty strong rainstorms flooding. Hydrangeas still hanging in there. Looking gorgeous. I'm liking the statue there. The irises look really pretty. Garden. All of those irises are really pretty. One's a little damaged. So right here is where we're going to be starting the garden on the other side for today. Be looking forward to the grand transformation. Here it is so far with uh, this new stained timber and one row of weed barrier. It's looking pretty good. So now I gotta lay the other piece of the weed barrier. Check it out, it's a little baby walking stick. I've never seen a baby one. Check that out. It's putting mulch in this flower bed and found this little walking stick. Okay, so this is what I got done for today in this part of the garden. I'm going to be planting some other plants. So I just mulched that part because I'm also not done with the weed barrier. Because I need to get a couple other things uh, planted and done today. So that's as far as I've gotten. I'm really liking the the wood, it looks pretty nice. It's staying nice there. <laughs> 